Howdy. Uh, there is no meaning in life. It might, might sound really brutal. There is no meaning in life. Monty Python did a whole movie about the meaning of life. Many people were talking and writing about the meaning of life. I was thinking about the meaning of life. And somehow I came to the conclusion that there is no meaning in life. It doesn't matter. We are just capacitors here. We are just an effect of the universal mechanics. We are somehow at the really end of this cyclical event called reality, the universe, the world. You can give your life a purpose. It doesn't mean that there's a meaning in it. You are not here for a reason. There's reasons why you are here, because you are the effect of all those mechanics of evolution and electromagnetics, which hold everything together. Like the clouds in the sky, they are held together by electricity. As are your thoughts, they are held together by electricity. So if there's any fluctuation in the energy environment, there will be effects and things going on all over the place. But you won't find any meaning. And it's also a relief because there's one thing less to search for. After all, it comes down to each one's decision. Do we want to have a purpose or like, do you want to make something out of it? Is there anything you could contribute to the whole? Is there any questions you have? You haven't found answers yet. You can give your life the purpose in order to just Simply try to understand how <laughs> how things work. Where are you? Time-wise and place-wise. One first really important step is getting aware of where you are. If you watch at the calendar 2022, if you watch at the map, <clears throat> you will find yourself somewhere. And everyone has gifts, many didn't discover their gifts yet. Many died without discovering their gifts. Because no one ever told you or teached you how to find your gifts. What is your thing? What, what you are born with a certain circuitry which has a certain frequency. 
which will align with other frequencies. How open-minded you are. How ready are you to question things taken for granted. How open-minded are you to question truths? Because there are many truths out there. There are many theories about how how things work, why things happened, and the way they're happening, and where they're happening, stuff like that. I have been interested in those all my life. I have been reading Brian Greene, The Elegant Universe, Quantum Physics. I think it was 99 when I bought the book. And I fight it with this book for many years and I felt dumb all those years because I didn't get it I it just didn't make sense to me and I thought I'm just too stupid I'm too dumb I just don't get it I was reading Einstein and I had like those science papers and all these kind of things all the time i never talked about these things to anyone really every now and then i made an empirical experiment i said something about these things and i watched the people's reaction and usually they were freaked out how someone can like do like you can talk about these kind of things but they don't matter, this is for the scientists and but not for you. You might be crazy. Reading scientific articles about gene manipulation or volcanism or whatever just came across. I have seen the movie Matrix. Follow the white rabbit. The decision of taking one of the pills. It is down to the decision after all. And life put me in a place where I had to question everything. Myself included. I decided I really want to know. So I started to make research about everything. All these kind of things, but I got teach in school. I think the best thing I learned, or the only thing which is really worth, or like how to put it, was learning to read. And the rest is up to you. It depends, or it's a decision what you are reading. How you are attached to reality. It is a decision to question things. And it is also a decision to be satisfied with answers or not. It's up, it's up to you to gather as much information about a certain theme whatever it might be from different sources from all directions from all directions if you 
make the decision from the beginning that from this direction I won't take any advices. Or from this direction, I, I, I just don't never, I never listen, no? If you go on this track and not listening to pre-decisioned sources of knowledge or whatever, how to put it, you won't find the truth because you cannot make a comparison between them by yourself because first you have to know about the other stuff too in order to make your own comparison how many facts are behind some truths what kind of facts are they provable are they reproducible are they scalable are they do they have predictable features which means if there is a theory about something and if they cannot make any predictions or if their predictions are always wrong or end up in even bigger mysteries one have to think that it might be wrong because obviously they cannot predict anything so they probably don't know what's going on there's just a few things or words which are really important Scalability, reproducibility, and uh, repetitive patterns. Because wherever you look in nature, wherever you look in nature, never ever you will find any number. There are no numbers in nature. So numbers are just a concept. They are interesting. I don't like them. I don't like numbers. But obviously I like to read and sometimes if I have time I also write something. Because I figured out that all those people, all those scientists, all of them, every single one, how made he like how did he made it into its position whatever position he has or degree he was reading or she the scientist was reading and it just like basically he had to write down something own which is based on the things he was reading in order to prove that he understood the concept of the paradigm the thing is there's different paradigms in describing reality some are widespread and poorly proven or even disproved but there's too much money involved so there's no way to stop it would be too expensive. Which basically means it's not the search for truth. It's about keeping the mm, coin rolling. It's a business. It's a business idea. And has nothing to do about truth searching about understanding nature because nature works how it works it's our work to understand it because we cannot change it how it works it does the same things over and over and over again in different scales in different times different fluctuations, different cycles. It affects different, differently, like things which are in, involved in the whole thing. A rock 
reacts differently to a lightning strike than probably a human would react to the similar lightning strike. But what to do? There is metals in the rock and minerals in the rock. There is metals in you and minerals in you. We are all the same. So it's really up to you to gather information. And don't worry about the meaning of life because there isn't any. You can give your life a purpose, which is a decision. Do you want to know? Or are you happy with being sure that you know already? But don't be then surprised about surprises. Getting aware of the situation where you are and get prepared for admitting being wrong. I have been so wrong about so many things. And most things I don't know. Do not expect to know everything. But if you know where you are, where we are going, what is going on. And it is also about social happenings. If you get aware of a situation, you are already so much more ahead of a herd than other people which aren't aware of the situation. Which is kind of a way, a way of a step back from yourself. And look around, where are you? What are you, what are you doing? What am I doing at the moment? What, what, why? Does it make any sense? No, well, anyway. I have no idea what I was talking about. There is no meaning in life, it doesn't matter. Give it a purpose and everything is well. You won't be bored. If you live and you are bored, you do something really, really wrong. Really wrong. If you are open-minded and want to learn, you won't be ever bored again. Which is quite a thing. I am not bored, ever. I haven't been bored, ever. And since I discovered the Electric Universe and all these kind of things, Anthony Parrant, Wolf Thornhill, Dave Talbot, Velikovsky, Andrew Hall and what have you, all those other people. I just now forgot to mention Victor Schauberg, Tesla and, you know, it's a whole different theme. And there's absolutely no way back. If you, if you get it, you will understand what I mean. It's, it's all fake. If you watch whatever the news or the purpose of why you go to school and the purpose of what they teach you in school and all these things, it's not about making people aware or getting anywhere near to the truth. That's why people are depressed and all these kind of things or there have been already before we had these new events which everybody's talking about people were frustrated and depressed because they they were all stuck they didn't got any further and most don't even have the balls to question things 
they're rather happy in their own little reality bubble. And put the head even deeper in the sand. There have been some people <laughs> which might have been shocked because I told them that I would like you to listen because I have a few things which might be really, really important. Probably haven't heard ever of them. But I think they're really important and I really want to share with them with you. And... Haven't heard too much of those people since. It doesn't matter. Hopefully they started to think. This is not about me. This is about us. We are in this together, all of us. No one ever left Earth. So there is no meaning of life, but you have the, the power to make the decision if you want to give it a purpose or not. So instead of still searching for the meaning of life, you probably would, you should think about giving it a purpose because you could save quite some time we think about the meaning of life and you could put it into giving it a purpose. Is there things you don't know? Is there things or explanations you doubt about? Go and check it out. Read about them from all different kinds of sources, whatever you can find. The more you know, the easier it is to make comparisons between different theories and paradigms. And you will understand when you reach a point where you notice that you might have understood something. Because Thinking is activism. And people usually which are thinking are seen as dangerous. For whatever reason, you might know. I have my theory about that. <laughs> But anyway, I leave it here. Stop searching for the meaning of life. It's a waste of time. Thanks.